Homing is the process of setting the robot's joints to a known position. You can determine if the robot is homed by typing robot.homed. The output will be a JSON string indicating if each joint is homed. A value of 0 means the joint is not homed, and a value of 1 means the joint is homed. When we type robot.homed, we'll notice that all of our joints are not homed. So let's home them. Let's start by typing robot.home j0, and the j0 joint will home. Let's continue with j1. J2, and finally J3. Homing the J3 joint will also home the J4 joint. Now you can see that we have a value of 1 for each joint. The robot's joints are at a known position. You can check this position by typing robot.position. So we can see that the position of each joint, starting from J0, is 0, 145, minus 90, 0, and 0. It should look like this. J1 is at 145, J2 is at minus 90, and J0, 3, and 4 should all be 0. Note that you can also check the position of the robot in the Cartesian coordinate system by typing robot.position and passing in the string xyz. But how can we be sure that these are the true values of the joints? Do we need to calibrate the robot? One way to determine this is to move all the joints to zero. If the robot is perfectly outstretched and straight, the values are correct, and we don't need to calibrate. If not, we do need to calibrate. So let's do that. Let's create a command to move all the joints to zero, and then play that command. We can see that J0 is off-center, and J3 is pointing slightly downward. Let's correct this by moving J0 two degrees at a time, and let's keep playing that command until J0 is lined up. Now let's do the same thing for J3. Let's move it up. We'll keep playing that command until J3 looks perfectly lined up. That looks good to me. If you type robot.position now, you'll notice that J0 is at 10 degrees and J3 is at 15 degrees. But we know for a fact that this is the position where all the joints should be zero. So let's tell the robot that. Let's calibrate the robot by typing robot.calibrate and passing in a string of all zeros. This tells the robot that this position is in fact all zeros. Now if you type robot.position again, it should output all zeros. To ensure that you don't have to do this again, we'll save the configuration. Type robot.saveconfig and then type the path of your new configuration file. I'll save it on my desktop and name it mynewconfig.yaml. If you don't give a path to your configuration file, the default one will be overwritten. Now you can be confident that Dorna knows its true position. Next time you use Dorna, when you're creating the Dorna object, pass in the path to your new configuration file, so you don't have to calibrate again. And once you connect to Dorna, you should see that it's using your new configuration file.
Once you home the robot again and you type the position, Dorna no longer outputs 0, 145, minus 90, 0, and 0, but new values that take into account the slight offset of your particular robot. If you move the robot in the outstretched position shown, J0 through 4 are all 0. Also note that there's another way to home the robot. Move the robot to any position you'd like, either by sending move commands or by physically placing the robot in that position. In this case, I'm going to set all joints to 0. Next, type robot.setJoint and pass in a string of all zeros. This immediately homes the robot and tells the robot that all the joints are at zero. That's all for this tutorial. For more information about homing the robot, calibration, and the robot configuration, you can refer to the Dorna Wiki.